Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to continue working on part 7 notes of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to add in more furniture. Now we're going to continue working on this. And also, um, what I noticed, I forgot to add a door here. So I'm going to add a door right here. You can also add the door here as well. So it depends on you. Uh, maybe this one is a much suitable place to add. But I'm thinking that this one will be also good so that we could add an entertainment system here. So I'm just going to add it here. So it's, it's a good place so that we can maximize this space. We can also add the the bed facing here once we do that we'll be able to maximize the space right here as well so we can even move this onto this spot and then we could even add a bigger bed so it depends on you I could just delete this and then copy so selecting all of this, so, so using control button, and then copy. I'm going to copy it from here, and then there. So now I maximize the space, and as you can see, we have enough room. So we could just move this one right there. And you have enough room to access your closet. And then we could add the um, entertainment right here. We can mount uh, the TV here. So that's good enough. I'm happy on the way I added the space. And then here there's more than room for the entertainment. Okay, I'm just double checking everything. So now what we can do is we can add in the windows. So let's go back to level one. I'm going to add all of this as a window. So I'm going to go to the wall and then change this to curtain wall. Here, I'm going to add it from the inside, but I need to face it in inner wall. So as you can see, it's going to the outer wall, but I want it to go to the inner wall, like that. So don't worry about the sound. The sound is telling you that it's not yet visible because we haven't used cut geometry which is under modify you have to click cut you need to choose the wall first and then the curtain wall here wall and then curtain wall and if we look at it at 3d it will look like that now we can maximize this space later on um, i want i want this one to be different so I want it to be extending all the way up. So now I'm going to flip this now to go to the inner wall or the outside wall and this as well. The reason why I'm doing that so that I could delete all this wall up. So now everything is deleted. I can then now click on this and then move it at the at the end of the wall so just about at the end and then here as well all the way at the end i know there are they are overlapping 
I'll make sure that they are not overlapping by doing that. And then here, I want to give this one some space from the wall. So I still want to give that wall there. And a wall right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this one all the way up. Same goes with that wall or that sound. It's just saying that it's not yet visible. But once we cut it again, wall and then curtain wall, it will delete that. As you can see, it's now visible there. There we go. We need to do an align so that everything aligns at the top. There we go. And then now it looks like this. It looks amazing because it's covering everything. I'm planning to give more space here so that So here, I'm just going to put it up a little bit, around 650. And maybe we could add it, a table there to represent that. But that's, we could do that later on. Okay, so now I'm going to go back here and then I'm going to move this one a little bit there. I just want to give more room for a wall. Maybe here as well, but later on we're going to figure out how we're going to um, give a case there. Because I'm planning to give um, a wall casing, all a uh, window casing. So that's something for later. I'm just maximizing the space right now. Okay. And then what we we can do is we could change the faces of the wall. So we could change the materials. Then let's go to other places. Here we could add in a curtain wall right here. So I'm going to add in a curtain wall. Similar to that, I'm planning to make it from the inner wall. But not too much. This is our, our room here. What I can do is, I know this is too big, but what I, I can do is, we could add in a storage for the garage or the carport. So we could move it. So I'm going to add in an interior wall on the middle. And then here, we could just move this one. So pick a new hose, which will be right here. Now, we just need to have an access right here as well to have in another storage. So I could use this CS. And we have a storage here as well. So let's add in an annotate, detail line, thin line like this. And then another detailed, but we could change this to demolish. 
So just a uh, storage for here. Um, I changed my mind of adding a storage for the garage, but this one is good enough. At least it's inside the inside the house. So we added this one. Um, we're also gonna add it here. So go back to architecture, and then let's add in curtain wall. And then another curtain wall right here. Let's add one here as well. You can use your CS. And let's align this all together so that it's on the same um, line. This one, we could just move it right here. And then I think that's about here for the level one. Um, we could go modify and then cut geometry. And then here as well. So make sure you click on the wall first and then the curtain as well. Go to 3D see it I know it's too big we can delete this now so we just added that for our spacing purposes here we could just move this somewhere down and then up we don't need too much of sunlight for our um, outer room we can maintain this height, so AL, I'm going to maintain this height here. And then here, we just need to go and pull it up a little, like that. And then similar to that, we could change this to a corner. We can flip this and then flip it again and then maximize. And then you want to make sure that you want to push this all the way to the end. In here as well click it back and let's look at it at 3d again and it looks like that you can delete this Let's go now to level two and add in our window. So here, let's go and add in our curtain wall. We can use CS there, so create similar. Here, we're going to add a curtain wall right here on our master's bedroom. We could add this one on the corner as well. So we might extend the wall. So here, let's add it here. Clip it from the inside. And what you can do is we could extend this similar here from our wall. But the way I see it is it's going to be showing our 
a study table. And here we need to have a little bit of that wall. So I'm going to pull it up. For level two, might as well just add a window similar to this here. I think that's good enough. I don't want it to be complicated. And then shortcut geometry. Make sure you click the wall first, then the curtain wall. And then let's add it here as well. CS. We could just add it right here at the top. And don't forget to cut geometry. This one's done already. Let's move this one a bit here so that there is some wall showing. So I think that's good. And then let's go to our 3D to fix the heights. So this is the, the one at the back. We could change the height of this one. So I was I'm just wondering how come it's too high. It created a height offset. I think that's because that we create uh, we extended some, so that's why it created a top offset, but it shouldn't be. Now we could just pull this down and maintain that height all throughout. So maybe we could just copy the height of this so that everything is uniform. I'm gonna click at that. Down here. So I'm just doing the height first. And then after that, I'm gonna do this. So I'm just gonna pull this up. Something like that. And then now I'm gonna use a line so that everything so this one is the one for the washroom. I'm just going to pull it up all the way up there. Not too much. And then here, let's copy this for AL. For here. Okay, so now what we could do on the next video is to add the grid lines. So the design of the grid lines for this. I was thinking to extend this more. So if you want to extend this, you just need to go here. So I'm just extending this more a bit. Okay, so let's continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and hope you like the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.